Hello! So today we are um, gonna go and get a moustache trim. I wanted to take you to show you actually kind of what happens. This, as you can see at the moment, is a total mess. I'm looking now. Um, I need to get it trimmed. It's, it's overhanging. I want to get the centre sorted and then just shape this all up. Um, so I thought instead of doing it myself, I would show you actually what happens if you were to go and get one done in a barbershop. Murdoch's on Brewer Street in Soho. I've got Sam here. Morning, how are you? Everyone's very well, I hope. Um, we are going to see what we can do here with this. Great. Normally when you brush them to the mm. side, you normally just brush it all to the side and cut it that way. Yeah. What that will allow us to do, you get the flub of the hair coming into the yeah. side as well. So brush it to the side, and then you can see what needs to come off. Exactly. And right now you're basically just seeing that it's... Just making sure it's symmetrical. Same, maybe. yeah, it's nice. And you just do that by hand, so just sort of feeling. Because your hands will always move at the same rate. Yeah. So if you kind of put your fingers through, then pull it, you can feel it. And you can yeah. see now my hands kind of they... Mm -hmm. It's apart from the moustache at the same rate. Yeah. And obviously now it is nice and even. Still keeping it fuller at the top, so yeah. again this will grow in. So we're just going to apply the pre shave oil. Mm -hmm. It also smells amazing. That is our Avalon cologne. So that's, that's our really, secret really scent nice. here in Murdoch. A good stretch, nice 30 degree angle and coming straight down the face. Again, this feels really good. It's great. A little bit of moustache wax, rub three fingers through it. Well done, Phil. Great, thank you. How's the film? Good. I'm pleased. Thanks very much. Should I have a splash of cologne to finish? Uh, let's go for it, yeah. Always in the back of the neck and never on the front of the right. shape, that will cause irritation. That's really good. I'm really pleased. My pleasure. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you for having me. Great. I was sat here editing this piece and I realised that actually it was such an abrupt end just to say, okay, cheers, thanks, thanks for the moustache trim and leave. But actually I thought I would actually show you, you know, a week on, so a week since I had this done, how we're going. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed because what I find with this, obviously Sam kept a lot of the weight on the top, which means it's growing in a lot more evenly. He's taken the ends and sorted it before that this end was a lot longer than this end. And um, also with the sort of undercut, it means day to day, I can just get my own razor and just trim up, take off that stubble, which makes it so much easier. So I would say, you know, if any of you guys are growing a mustache or you're, you're just starting one or you've got a beard, I'd say go and get it done professionally, get it trimmed up like you would a haircut, get it trimmed up, you know, once a month, and it makes it so much easier for you to maintain. Um, that is a top tip there. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I really want to do more of these out and about sort of treatments. I love doing the eyebrow threading and tinting, which was last week's video. I want to do more of this. Maybe, I don't know, back waxing or lasering. I don't really need to get mine done, but maybe someone else out there who wants it. Um, and just kind of looking at the stuff that is available to us guys. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hit subscribe right now. The button is just up there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Also, my new podcast, I'm going to put a link right there. But I'll see you in the next new video. It will be Thursday. Bye-bye.